Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Unreal Engine 5.2's Chaos Flesh. Uh, if you watch the GDC presentation, it's a pretty cool feature. And basically, I've been messing around with it right now using the documentations that they have, which is brilliant. Uh, let me go ahead and show you how this kind of works just to get it started. So first things first, let's go ahead and enable the plugin by going to Edit, Plugins, and type in Chaos Flesh right here. I already have it enabled to save time. Just go check that off and then restart your project and you should be good to go. I created a new folder here called Chaos Flesh. All right, so what we're gonna do first is right click here and go to physics. We're gonna create a indicative flow graph and I'm just gonna name this, press F2, tire flow and then right click again and then we'll go get a flesh asset and I'll just say tire flesh. And then next I'll click on the flesh asset and I will just drag and drop that tire flow there, save, minimize, and then we can open up the tire flow graph. Uh, what I'm noticing in Unreal Engine 5.2 is they're utilizing a lot of graph node systems, which I personally don't like, but unfortunately I have to learn, uh, like the PCG and this. So yeah, just, so just FYI. So in here, we'll right click and create a static mesh. All right, then next we'll say generate tetrahedral collection, which I can't really say. <laughs> so with the static mesh right here, I downloaded some tires. Now with this, I tried a mango first because I like mango. They're delicious. I tried melons because I like melons. And then I tried tires. Now what I'm noticing, my experience right now trying this out, fairly new, right? Um, it doesn't quite work well with smaller objects. So I just downloaded this humongous tires from Sketchfab. I'll put in the link in the description below if you want to follow along in this video. So I just downloaded that and I have that right here. So I just selected tires only right here. And then I'm gonna turn this on right now, okay? And I'm gonna save, I'm gonna close it and then open it back up. And now if I go out, we should now see our tire. Now in the GDC presentation, they showcase the tire pretty much reacting to the surface. And that is what I'm trying to figure out on how to do. And obviously the documentation is not there yet, but. Again, this is very basic just to get it started. Um, and then from here, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to select default set flesh default properties, like so, and I'll pipe that in. And after that, we're gonna have an exit node, which is gonna be a flesh asset terminal, just like so, okay? I'm gonna turn off the view for this node because I'm gonna turn it on for this one now. Save it, you can close it and come back in. Just everything is good to go. This might be a bug. They might be able to fix that. And now we see this mesh inside here with some chaos flesh kind of involved in. All right, so once we have all of this set up and I go back out, you're gonna see that we have our little tire here. And what I'll do is I'll click on this collection and change the num cells to just kind of decrease the quality of this. You know, so we don't crash or anything like that. You can play around with a good number for you, but for me, I think 11 was good. So it doesn't look like complete dookie. So I'll just save that. And then what I'll do next is I'll select for the static mesh. I'm gonna grab our tires only right here. So we should have it here and here, save it. And I'm not gonna change anything else here because I wanna show this and kind of simulate it to see what it's doing first. And then we'll adjust after that. And then from here, I will drag and drop my tire asset right here. And it's in the scene now. Sorry about that, my camera is too fast. <laughs> And then I will create now a solver. So I'll just search solver, deformable solver. Click on the flush asset and go to the primary solver, which will select this right here. And now if I simulate this, you can see that we now have flush. And that's the end of the video. No, it's not. So there's a couple of use cases that I want to try this on. One of them is the tires like they showed in GDC. Another one is chaos flesh explosion i'm curious to see if we can use chaos flesh to create like a body exploding or a head exploding for science of course nothing illegal but pretty interesting stuff right it, it's really it, it is kind of weird but but the potential of this you can probably come up with some stuff in your head but it's pretty cool so Obviously, this is a tire, so we kind of want it to bounce up and down. Now, to get this kind of a little bit more solid, I went to the default properties and just chose like a smaller value. And again, you could play around with it depending on what object you're using. And as you can see, it's a little bit more harder. It's not as freaking, um, 
it's not as soft or liquidy as it was before. And that, that, that is so freaking cool. And this is all running real time too, this simulation. It's pretty neat. So I'll stop this and I'll change it one more time. Maybe like 0 0.05 save. But I don't want it melting like that because <laughs> it's it's tires, right? Look at that. That's so cool. That's fun, man. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just having fun in here. It's, it's really amazing. And I want it kind of like hard, you know, like 0 0.001, 0 001. So it's tires. You don't want it just melting away. And uh, press simulate. Yeah, that's more like it. And that's just so cool, man. And again, this is very basic. In four nodes, we just created this to kind of show you um, the possibility of what Chaos Flesh is. Because obviously not a lot of people are making YouTube videos about this until obviously after I make this video here. So I'll press stop here, go to content, because I'm messing around with another version of this. Um, and if you want to mess around with this, just go to the documentations and follow it through. It's going to be fine. There's a lot of good stuff in here. See, I, I tried the mango and the melon. just didn't work too good. But in here, I also have another tire. It's the same tire. But this one, let me go right here. I'm going to select the same solver and press play. Now, the difference between this one is that this one is actually interactive, right? I can actually click it like... Do, 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 do. Thing like a subwoofer with like sound, and it's just like pumping out like, boo, 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 everywhere. Boo. I don't know, man. I'm just having so much fun in here. But that's pretty much it. That is that is Chaos Flesh. You want to try? It. It's really cool. Obviously, this is very basic. Um, I'm waiting for more tutorials to come out. Maybe again, I want to see the tire kind of like reacting to the surface. That would be very very cool to do. If you learned something new today, go ahead and like this video and subscribe. I'm trying to get 100,000 subscribers this year, man. I think this is the year and I can go quit and go back to a nine to five work.